Universal Yoga is a program that we have developed at the University at Buffalo and it's, it's a fairly simple concept. It's yoga for everyone. We've taken the, the physical concepts of design and universality and opened it not just to the physical environment but also the attitudinal environment so that it's open in spirit and in welcoming and safety for everyone who would like to take it. And as a matter of fact, those are our fundamental principles, is that everything that we do in Universal Yoga is welcoming, safe, and comfortable for everyone. That's for the students in the class, the Universal Yoga assistants, as well as the teachers. So welcoming, safe, and comfortable, that's what we always come back to when we have any question regarding how we're going to proceed with the program. Walking into Universal Yoga for the first time, I had really no idea of what to expect. All that I really knew about yoga was what I had seen in movies, what I had done in gym class in high school, and I was really excited to find out that yoga is an experience. It's more than uh, exercise, it's more than breathing, it, it engages all of you. Somebody was like, oh, where are you going? And I was like, yoga, want to come? Oh, I would love to, but I'm too busy. And I was like, me too, but this is fun. <laughs> straighten the leg, straighten your elbows. So you're reaching. When I go into Universal Yoga, I, um, I go in there with the intent of doing yoga. It really has nothing to do with the fact of my physical limitations and the different physical abilities I have and the different physical abilities anyone in the class has. Um, it is my time to find the, the center of myself, to appreciate my physical body as it is at that moment. The class in itself has the supports that I need to make the class effective, safe, um, and comforting in a, in a wide sense. Um, and those uh, same supports are offered to everyone in whatever way they use them to best fit their yoga practice. When we're thinking about participation, we're thinking about what a person's able to do, or we're open to the possibilities of what people are able to do. We're not looking at people from what's wrong with them and how can we fix it. Our focus is on participation and the universality and breaking down these concepts of difference. So we'll just give ourselves a minute or so to get set up in that comfortable position, whatever that might be for you. We have to be able to reach a very diverse group of students. Students who come from different geographic areas, are different ages, different majors, different abilities. And Universal Yoga has provided an amazing opportunity to do that, to put students together who might never be together, to provide skills that they can use in their own lives every day. This has been possible by bringing wellness education services to the table, disability services to the table, and the School of Public Health and Health Professions. Collaboration is not just coming to the table with people, it's really thinking about how we can all contribute and, and to innovate where we want to go. In Universal Yoga, we're drawing on these really key concepts participation, really coming from the World Health Organization International Classification of Functioning Disability and Health, um, universality coming from universal design, the universal openness of the class to all students, and then the universal perspective coming from different yoga traditions. Stay with yourself, your body, your experience. By bringing in yoga teachers from the community to be part of this work, they are also learning about concepts of universal design. The conceptual framework for universal design is founded in attitude, awareness, and knowledge. The key concepts associated with universal design are the design benefits more than one group, Getting around is easy to understand. 
use and participation are comfortable, fatigue is minimized, hazards of accidental actions are minimized, communication is effective, choices are provided, it is useful to people with diverse abilities, the design is sustainable, fully integrated, and proactive. The universal design offers people an opportunity to explore themselves. They learn how to relax, let go of stress, work their body in a very mindful way, and uh, eventually find balance. Stress is the number one impediment to academic success. And we also know that yoga can provide a way of managing that stress. For When we ask students to finish a phrase, when I am healthy, I, they, they ultimately say things like, when I'm healthy, I'm productive, I'm happy, I'm focused, I'm connected. That's exactly the kind of health we want to promote, and that's exactly what Universal Yoga is able to provide. Matthew Sanford has probably been um, instrumental in the development of this program. His concepts and his ways of thinking about yoga and doing yoga as an individual who is a T4 or paraplegic has grounded the program in a way that no one else really would be able to do. I came to learn about Matt through reading his book Waking, which is a memoir, um, and it's a very compelling story about him being injured as a young person and eventually after years um, finding yoga and what it means in his life. One of the first and most important steps is to help someone believe that they can access something as simple as their own mind-body relationship. It takes guidance and it takes help and it takes feeling safe. It takes feeling comfortable with yourself and, it, and you need the support to help you do that. You need to feel welcome like you belong. I read the book Waking and it was a really enjoyable read. I liked it a lot. The point that hit home most for me as a new uh, student of yoga was reading about Matt's experience with first beginning yoga. As a disabled person who paralyzed from the, the waist down, um, it made him feel good about his body, how it helped him become more in touch with uh, his physicalness. Um, it, made, it opened up my, my mind into understanding a way of life that you don't really experience unless you're going through it. So if we have this cultural level where we're trying to create change uh, beyond the university, then, then we have this focus at the university level. And one aspect of the program that bridges both of these is the aspect of having universal yoga assistance. So the Universal Yoga Assistants um, are students at the university. They come in early, half an hour early before the class starts, and they set up the space using principles of universal design. We are teaching these young people, we're teaching the future people um, of our culture to think about universal design. The special skills that they, uh, they taught us uh, uh, for during the class is um, uh, really how to make everybody more comfortable, how to communicate during the class. It just teach, it teaches you how to be more human with another human, really. Anyone can come in, no matter what their ability might be, their experience might be, and they're served on some level. Some come in with obvious physical disabilities. Uh, there's people who come in that are visually impaired. Um, perhaps have cognitive issues that we wouldn't notice on a surface level. And we as teachers need to be aware that we can never assume 
what is going to be right for that person, um, what someone might feel comfortable with. So there's a lot of asking, there's a lot of feedback that goes on between the teachers themselves, between the teachers and students and even the assistants so that we can help every individual have the best experience possible. Yes, pronating that foot and now you're reaching up and out. Because we have five yoga teachers, certified, experienced yoga teachers in every class, those yoga teachers come from varying yoga traditions. I don't know, like I would use it as a reference point for my We work together collaboratively to create the best class sequences going back to welcoming, safe, and comfortable. Reach for your support and stretch. We have a lead teacher and then we have four other individual teachers that move around the classroom to help um, assist the students. Each instructor had a different way of instructing the class, of leading the class, and um, all that helped to form, it helped to impress upon me what yoga is and who I am in yoga. Once you get, let's say, the environment set up within a room that provides access for everybody, that's one level of universal access. The idea that underlies universal yoga, it's an issue of communication. It's an issue of education. And the great thing about doing it in a university system, what better place to experiment with the model through which the greater culture can become aware of what universal yoga, universal access actually means more than just an accessible building. Because it is universal yoga and I don't feel separated out from the class because I can't physically do a particular uh, pose or it has to be modified in some way. Um, it, it makes it more, um, you feel like you can be a true part of the class and you can give something of yourself to that class and that class then gives you something back. When there's a merging of ability and disability, a phenomenon occurs that allows for not only an appreciation of the mind-body relationship, but what it is to be human, what it is to be vulnerable, what it is to give to another, what it is to receive from another. There is so much learning going on. My hope for anyone that participates in the Universal Yoga program, whether they live with a disability or not, is to experience a sense of freedom, a sense of depth, a sense of joy, a sense of true grounding and connection to the world. These are basic things that everybody needs to experience. Wherever you are, it's about you. Remember that you've come to this class to work in a collaborative way, but also uniquely for yourself.